Hi guys, yes, I have returned once again, and the vote is here. Hey, combos with Carter. We're gonna watch this guy's videos for a little bit now. He does great breakdowns of WNBA matches. Um, Caitlin Clark just won over the Chicago Sky. Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever, baby. The whole squad, Indiana Fever, is playing great these days. Since that return to the NBA, the matches, the Indiana Fever have been stellar. Caitlin Clark has just elevated that team. Everyone is looking good out there. They all look solid. All look like <laughs> world class players. Um, hey man, hey, hey. Yeah, everyone thought it would be much closer than it, than it was. Nah, Clint Clark was like, <laughs> well, we gonna learn today. MVP, MVP. And that's exactly what happened. So let's do the show. Let's let's do this. Let's watch what Car has to say. Let's see what he has to say, baby. Let's go. And remember to like, share, subscribe, press the notification bell. Put the comments in the comment section down below. Let's see what this man has to say. One, two, three. The Indiana Fever just destroyed the Chicago Sky, and folks, it was not close. It is true that Kennedy Carter did not play, but even. Yeah, Kennedy Carter didn't play. They don't have a lot more buckets, but. They're gonna win regardless, cause hey, Sky won't have it. But Sky was getting clapped. Still, that was an embarrassing loss for the Chicago Sky. Angel Reese had an embarrassing performance. Caitlin Clark just lit it up. Ha Clark, bro, the engineer. That's what I call it from now. She's the engineer to me, bro. She's the engineer. She out here, bro. She's the engine, bro. At her best game of the entire season, and man, oh man, do we have some things to talk about. The Indiana Fever. The engineer and the engine, bro. <laughs> started off this game in a concerning manner, but they ended up going on a 26 to 9 run to regain the lead. That was a 26 to 9 run over an eight minute stretch, y'all. That is ridiculous. In this game, Caitlin Clark and Kelsey Mitchell did exactly what we've become accustomed to seeing from them. Kelsey Mitchell had 23 points on nine for 14 shooting from the field. Y'all understand how ridiculous that is to shoot at nine for 14 from the field. How efficient do you gotta be? Her shot's been looking pure. Once again today, she was spectacular. We're gonna get to that, but. Hey, them freeze from Mitchell crazy i'm gonna lie them freeze <laughs> them freeze is like it goes whoop, right through the bucket like no rims nothing it's like whoop, them freeze straight in there they're clean as hell caitlin the arc of them freeze are crazy clark folks caitlin clark caitlin clark had 31 points 12 assists on 8 for 14 shooting from the field, 5 for 9 shooting from the 3. Y'all, she just had a historical game. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she's the third WNBA player over this season to have over 30 points. That is a ridiculous stat line for a rookie, y'all. Yo, y'all want to keep putting her in this rookie of the year conversation. It never has been a conversation. I saw ESPN the other day posted another ranking having Angel Reese at number one in the rookie. Bruh, that's all day. Angel Reese is number one rookie of the year. Get the freak out of here, bro. <laughs> you tripping. You tripping. And rookie of the year? Hell no. Kevin Clark is rookie of the year for a long time now. And I ain't gonna change. So what the hell's going on there? That's ridiculous. Rookie of the year race. We know where she stands. We just saw it in this game. Caitlin Clark is by far the rookie of the year. And in my opinion, she's in the MVP conversation. You have... Angel Wilson, you have Nafisa Collier, and you have Caitlin Clark. Those are the three players who are in the MVP conversation. And I think Caitlin Clark has a legitimate shot to get it. Right now, Angel Wilson is leading. But if the Aces keep falling and the Indiana Fever keep rising, you have to consider giving Caitlin Clark the MVP because if you don't, you're being biased. She's actually having one of those seasons. Either way, I'm done with my rant. Let's go. Yeah, in terms of that pure motivation and just like building a team, Hey, Kane and Clark and just pure influence alone, she's in a conversation. There is, there's, there's no doubt about that. As soon as Kane and Clark elevated, the rest of the team elevated too. And they have lost in a long ass time, bro. So, hey, if, <laughs> hey, if, if, if Kane and Clark's up there in terms of the MVP race, bro, I'm saying. She might not win it, but hey, she's up there. She's a close number two, bro. Go ahead and break down. Rock of the year, 
That's sold out, bro. She's rookie media. Let's just, just yeah, stop talking about anybody else. Kevin Clark is rookie media. Full stop. Down the Indiana Fever destroying the Chicago Sky. Now check out this first play. This is the first play of the game. And what you'll notice is that Aaliyah Boston comes over and it seems like she's about to do a handoff with Kelsey Mitchell. But Kelsey Mitchell cuts back door. And what a pass. What a finish from Kelsey Mitchell. And what do I always tell y'all? Good things happen when Kelsey Mitchell cuts back door. A lot of you guys are new to this channel, so you may not know it, but I've made many videos in which I've talked about Kelsey Mitchell not cutting back door. I've been advocating for Kelsey Mitchell to cut back door for dang near three months now, and she's finally cutting back door. And look at where the Indiana Fever are. They're 16 and 16. They're 500. Let's not forget, I think the Indiana Fever started off 1 and 8 this season. They were 1 and 8. Y'all know how ridiculous that is? Now they're 500. When do you see that? You don't. Now take a look at this. Caitlin Clark brings the ball up the court, and Aaliyah Boston goes to set a screen, but before she can even set her feet and set a screen, Caitlin Clark is already shooting it. And why? Because the defender has went under the screen. The defender's going under the screen, giving Caitlin Clark a wide open shot. You don't do that guarding Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark's going to make you pay. Look, earlier in the season, we were having issues with Caitlin Clark's three-point shot. She was not hitting them. And now she's hitting them. Look, she got some rest over the Olympic break. And now we're seeing Steph Curry, Caitlin. Like, I've been talking about Caitlin Clark is more of a Steve Nash player than a Steph Curry kind of player. But she's really a hybrid. So now she's freaking Steve Nash and Steph Curry. That's kind of scary. Like, you can have one, you can have the other, but you can't have both. But you have both in Caitlin Clark. And I think everybody's starting to get a little bit scared. Nah, cause I yeah, bro, there's a clear, it's radiating through that division now. <laughs> He's radiating through that company. Hey, don't remember me. They're afraid of what Caitlin Clark can do and what she's gonna do. That's scary. <laughs> Caitlin Clark is OP. I, you know, if I wasn't an Indiana Fever fan, I'd be getting kind of scared too. Now check this out. Caitlin Clark is bringing the ball up the court, and look at the defender playing sideways defense. She's trying to make Caitlin Clark go to her right. I think she still thinks that Caitlin Clark has a weak right hand. Caitlin Clark takes it down into the paint and goes right up and over the defender. Easy. Easy. He's like, ah. Lay it up casually. Lay it for Caitlin Clark. You can't give Caitlin Clark no wide open lane. Look, I know. Look, she's better going to her left. But you cannot give her a wide open lane. That's just stupid. Now, this is what I love to see. Caitlin Clark brings the ball up the court. And as she gets to the wing, Kelsey Mitchell simultaneously cuts back door. Kelsey Mitchell doesn't even stop on this play. She doesn't rest. She doesn't go to the corner and stop. And then two seconds later, cuts back door. She just keeps running. And she runs right to the paint. Caitlin Clark finds her. This is the kind of speed I like to see the Indiana Fever play with. It's not about how fast they play. It's just about outrunning the other team. Team. That's, That's the, the whole thing with the speed, speed man. I'm, I'm not saying you got to play 100 miles per hour every single second of the game. That's impossible. But just outrun the other team. That's, That's what the Indiana Fever can do. That's, That's what they have been doing. And that is why they're winning. winning. Now, check yeah. this out. Yeah. Timmy yeah. Thagbinley gets an amazing steal. The ball ends up in Caitlin Clark's hands. And Timmy Thagbinley runs the floor. And what a pass by Caitlin Clark to Timmy Thagbinley, y'all. This Look at that pause. Look at that bounce. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. On the floor. And what a pass. Look at that. Boom. By Caitlin. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. So clean. Clark to Timmy Fagbinley, y'all. This is literally spectacular. That pass is a Steve Nash kind of pass. That's really a Rajon Rondo kind of pass. You see Tyrese Halliburton make those kind of passes today. But that pass is really a signature Steve Nash kind of pass, man. She looks like Steve Nash out there. I love what I'm seeing from Caitlin Clark. She put a little bit of sauce on them passes. She'll look away from time to time. She'll fling her arm around. She'll get to talking to the crowd. That's what makes her passes so spectacular. There's other players who can pass the ball, but they don't do it with as much much emphasis as Caitlin Clark does. She puts a little, little bit of sass on those passes, and I think that's what puts her at a different level of passing. That's what makes Steve Nash such a great passer, is because he would put a little bit of flavor on them. I like what I've seen from Caitlin Clark. I like the defensive intensity from Timmy Thagbinley that cannot go unnoticed either. Now, check out this ball movement from the Indiana Fever. Caitlin Clark comes off the screen. She finds Timmy Thagbinley on the free throw line. Timmy Thagbinley ends up passing it to Kelsey Mitchell. Kelsey, look, look at that passing. Look at that passing. Look at that. That passing is crazy. 
Mitchell passes it to Erica Wheeler. Erica Wheeler could shoot this shot. She doesn't shoot it, takes it in, and then finds Caitlin Clark peeling off. What a deep shot from Caitlin. She's in her bag. I love what I'm seeing. And look, if you just wait it out, if you be patient, the right shot's going to come. I like seeing the ball move it because that's that Golden State Warriors offense. I love to see it, man. Caitlin Clark's been sk Golden State. Golden State. Seeking her shot. She's spectacular right now. It's literally fun to watch Caitlin Clark. Now check out this next play. Jameer Dantas hands the ball to Caitlin Clark and she sets a screen. Caitlin Hey, hey, this is a player that is not talked about enough. Dantes, hey. Dantes is on 5 2 8. Because Lexi Hall, you got the Mitchells, the Caitlin Clarks, you know what I'm saying? You're running the plays. But hey, Dante, bro, hey. Don't forget about Dante. Clark peels off and hits this highly contested three-point jump shot over two defenders. She sinks it. She drills it. That is a Steph Curry kind of play. I'm starting to understand the comparisons. Look, I've talked about it here before. Caitlin Clark's more of a playmaker, right? We talked about it. But at the end of the day, Caitlin Clark can shoot the ball like Steph Curry. They're not the same kind of players, but the comparison is fair because, look, who else is making that shot for Steph Curry? Did you watch the Olympics? Because that's exactly what Steph Curry was doing. I love to see this from Caitlin Clark. Her being fearless, she can hit these shots, and when she does, she makes Makes the crowd go wild, even in Chicago. <laughs> Now, check out this next play. Once again, we got Kelsey Mitchell cutting back door, but notice how Caitlin Clark sees the opening before it's there. She's ready to pass it, and Kelsey Mitchell is ready to run before the play even opens up. That's an amazing pass, an amazing finish. They're building chemistry. They're both thinking the same things. This is the best backcourt in the WNBA, folks. It might be the best duo in the WNBA, at least since the Olympic break. They've been on a tear. Caitlin Clark and Kelsey Mitchell, I love what I'm seeing from them. Now, check this out. Kelsey Mitchell gets it at the top of the key. She takes one dribble and shoots it up over this tall defender. What a shot from Kelsey Mitchell. Once again, she's been spectacular since the Olympic break. I think right now she's the player of the month. I, I really think that you can argue with the brick wall. That's crazy. She just goes, zoop, she just goes zoop, like no one's even there. Mitchell scoring that no one's even on the court. That's crazy. I don't think there's any way she's not the player of the month for the Eastern Conference. She's been spectacular. She's the best offensive player in the WNBA. I love what I'm seeing from Kelsey Mitchell. Now, check out this next play. Kelsey Mitchell is playing off ball. She comes off this screen, catches it, and just shoots it up over this defender. What is going on with Kelsey Mitchell, y'all? I don't know what happened, but she was 9 for 14 from the field in this game. She has been abnormally... I don't know what happened, Mitchell. I don't know if she was abducted by aliens, I sent back to Earth. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> what's going on with this boy? She went crazy over the break. Her, Caitlin, just went crazy over the break. I don't know what happened. It was something that happened between these two. Something that happened. <laughs> this experimentation or something happened, bro. The, the Pentagon got him. I don't know what happened, bro. Efficient over these past five to ten games. I don't know what she did over the Olympic break, but she's literally playing like Clay Thompson. This is the kind of stuff you see Clay Thompson do all the time. Caitlin Clark is literally playing like Steph Curry. It's not really a metaphor anymore. They're literally Steph Curry and Clay Thompson. What is going on with Caitlin Clark and Kelsey Mitchell? She's spectacular. Man, once again, she's the player of the month. Now, check this out. This Chicago Sky Defender, once again, is allowing Caitlin Clark to go to her right. She's giving her a wide open lane. And look, Caitlin Clark's going to take it. Go up with it and make it. She does not have a weak right hand. I know she's better going to her left, but she is just as good going to her right, in my opinion, at least these days. So, look, if you're going to give her that lane, she's going to capitalize on the opportunity. You got to play better defense than that. Now, check out this next play. Caitlin Clark. Go, go she is just as good going to her right, in my opinion, at least these days. So, look, if you're going to give her that lane, she's going to capitalize on the opportunity. You got to play better defense than that. She's like, right hand, baby. Right hand, baby. <laughs> she's like, yeah, right hand. You go on my left, I go on my right. Hey man, I say she they, she's ambidextrous right now. I love it. Now check out this next play. Caitlin Clark brings the ball to the court in transition. And look, she doesn't even think about it. What a step back. What a shot from Caitlin Clark. Yo, she's not in her head anymore. She's not in her head. I'm so excited because Caitlin Clark's not in her head. She's just shooting. Early in the season, she was definitely in her head. She had definitely let the hate get to her. And she was not shooting these shots. Now Caitlin Clark is shooting these shots. She ain't even thinking about it. This is what we saw her do in Iowa. This is what she ought to be doing in every single W. You can tell that she's like, yeah, this is my team. I, I, I know I'm that guy. So that's what she's saying. She, I am that dude. <laughs> that's what she, she's saying right now. I'm like, hey, let's go. Hey. What's she doing? She's having fun out there. I love it.
do NBA game. I love this from Caitlin Clark, not even thinking about it, just stepping back. And now she looks like Steph Curry. Because Steph Curry, don't think about it, dude. Look, I keep talking about Steph. Steph is my favorite player, if y'all don't know. Curry is the reason I started watching basketball. And that's why I love Caitlin Clark so much, because she plays like Steph. She has this, this thing that Steph Curry has. That's, That's just so exciting. It's just so majestic watching these guys play. I don't know what it is, but Caitlin Clark and Steph Curry just make basketball so fun to watch. Now, if you really know me, you know I love Kelsey Mitchell playing off ball. Kelsey Mitchell gets this ball right here. And look, she has a wash her chop. She doesn't shoot it and she throws it. Mitch, hey, that's the thing that people are not talking about enough. Mitchell has great movement. Do you see how she's moving off ball? That's what you do, like, if you're like a player, it, it just, like, just... You just maneuver around the defense. That's how you. That's how you get buckets out there, bro. That's how you score points. Moving off ball, it's the movement. Look at it. Look how she's moving to everybody else on the on the field. Look how she's just moving around. This crazy pass to the mirror, Dante. Let me go back. Let me go back. Look, look, look how. Oh, me, you know. Look at how Mitchell's moving. Like, check it out. Love Kelsey Mitchell playing off ball. Kelsey Mitchell gets this ball right here. And look, she has a wide open shot. She doesn't shoot it and she throws this crazy pass to the mirror's Dante. What a pass, what a finish. Look, I'm telling y'all, Kelsey Mitchell been around Caitlin Clark for a little bit too long. She's been putting a few of Caitlin Clark strips in her bag. I like to see this pass from Kelsey Mitchell. I love what I'm seeing, man. Now check out this next play. Caitlin Clark brings it up the court. The defender leaves Lexi Hall wide open and she sinks the three. I think Lexi Hall had two threes in this game. Once again, she's been hitting her three-point shots. I like to see that this is why she needs to be on the court. She's gonna play defense and she's also going to play offense. Now, one thing I'm still noticing is Lexi Hall being timid around the rim. I don't know why she's in her head, but she's been missing a whole lot of layups. She's gotta work on that. Other than that, she's been making three-point shots, so I'm all good. She's gotta continue to get more minutes. Now, before I end off this video, I cannot go without saying thank you to Mr. Seth Howard. He dropped a $100 donation on my last video, and it's a funny story because I briefly mentioned that I was going to buy a Lexi Hall jersey shoe. You saw my Lexi Hall jersey! I'm about to buy a Kayla Clark jersey, I'm just saying. I need that. And he said, yo, get rid of that crap. It's kind of expensive, bro. But yeah. Crap pocket tee. Go get you a Lexi Hall jersey. It's on my tab. I appreciate Mr. Seth Howell for dropping a $100 donation. Other people are being gracious and donate to some of these videos with the super chat. And I do appreciate you all because you don't have to do that. No, I, I never ask you guys to donate any money to my channel, but you guys go out of your way to do that. That was a real blessing, Mr. Seth. So I appreciate you. I appreciate all you guys watching these videos. We're on the road to 10K subscribers. Well done, 10K subscribers. I support this guy. This guy's a great YouTuber, by the way. I think we might hit 9K today. Let's see how that goes, but I appreciate you all. Yeah, I'm out, though. Peace out, man. Y'all take it easy. Hey, come on, Ricardo, man. Another great video. And Clark and the Fever putting in that work, as always. That's what they do. Um, this guy didn't have enough for him. They, just couldn't, they couldn't touch him. They, they were leading the, the first part, but then people was like, nah, let me just let me just play around with these guys for a bit. We, 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 we just don't want to just let have their fun. We're going to smoke them. That's what they do. Oh, great. I love it, man. As soon as the second, second quarter hit, it was a wrap. They just like turning up, bro. They started putting threes everywhere. And passes were going to lay up. So they were going crazy. I love it, man. I love it. Um, Smith is still uh, shaky as heck. <sighs> Smith, man, what are we gonna do about Smith? But um, yeah, the, the fever on fire once again. Sides I hear like <laughs> dancing on the sidelines. I was like, sides, uh, Chrissy was going crazy on the sidelines, but she was celebrating. Chrissy was enjoying herself out there, bro. But yeah, Kent Clark showboating a little bit. I love to see it. And she like, ah, it's like. And want to see it? Ah, yeah. And it was like a, um, a Clayton Clark fan on the on the on the on the, on the, on the floor. It's funny, but but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hey, you know, fever. Get Clark, baby. Clayton Clark, I'm gonna get that jersey. I'm gonna get that Clayton Clark jersey. It's coming. Hey, so someone wants to donate and give me, help me out. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, great video. Come to the car. Another great video. Massive fan of you, bro. Keep it up. We're up to 10,000 subscribers. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, but he's on the way to 10K. And he deserves it. He deserves it, bro. He has, he has great content. But yeah, like, share, subscribe. Press the notification bell. Put the comments in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about this video? 
the FIBA, the WBA in general, Hurricane Clark fan. Let's go. Anyway, I'm out.